Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now in today's video, I'm super excited to share with you my first impressions with the Huawei Mate XS2. Now by the time you watch this video, I would have already used this device for close to a week now and at the point of this recording, I do not actually have the price of the Mate XS2 but again, by the time you watch this video, the pricing, more details should have already been available so I'll put more details down in the link below if you want to know more about that. But in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of things like the specifications, how it really feels like to use on the daily and who I think this device is really for. Now with that said, let us begin and check out the device. Now first and foremost, we have to talk a bit about the design because this design factor is actually a little bit different compared to most of the foldables currently available in the market. Well, uh, Huawei says that they're really focusing on giving you a very you know, seamless one-handed experience and they do not want to have it very heavy like most foldables in the market. So they are really focusing on bringing the weight down. Now, since I've mentioned about the weight here, uh, the weight for the XS2 is actually approximately 255 5 grams and that is significantly lower than most of the foldables out there like the Samsung foldable, you have the Oppo foldable and even more foldables out there. So it's really quite comfortable to actually use it you know, with one hand without having too much weight. Now apart from that, the way it folds is also a little bit different from other foldables and that is because it only has one large display. Now most foldables in the market today makes use of two displays, one on the outside and one on the inside but you only have one display here with the Mate XS2. How this works is again very simple just like I showed you earlier on, there is a button at the back where you press to unlock it and then it will actually extend out to a larger display. Now this is also a very cool design form factor because you do not have to waste an additional display at the front. One thing I did hope would actually improve is that the mechanism of the folding display is a little bit rough at the moment. Perhaps uh, if we could add some oil inside, we can actually smoothen out the mechanism because it does requires a little bit of strength to open up the display. Now apart from that, uh, folding it close is also the same story here. You need to apply a little bit of strength to make sure it is fully close to the back here. So yeah, that's just something that I thought I should mention as well. Um, other than that, in terms of the design, you do have your Type-C port right at the bottom, you have your dual stereo speakers, and at the back here, you can see we do have an array of you know, camera sensors, a triple camera setup, which I will share a little bit more later. And of course, uh, again, if you unlock or open up the device, you can notice at the back here, we have this very interesting use of materials. I'm not sure what the exact material is, but it is, you know, it has a little bit of uh, texture to the back and it actually allows you to have more grip when you're holding the device with one hand. Now, speaking of holding the device, uh, you know, holding it with your left hand, for instance, here, uh, you'd have a, quite a fair bit of grip here, but if you hold it with your right hand, notice that this camera array here actually gives you a handle or something like that to hold it even more comfortably and even more securely. So I think this design language is actually quite interesting. Definitely uh, something new compared to the other foldables uh, currently in the market. Again, I know that there is an XS, the first Gen is also using this concept but I did not have access to that back then so this is my first experience using a foldable that works like this. Alright so now that we've done with the design let's talk a little bit more on how it actually feels like to use this kind of display. Now who is it really for and who really needs such a large display? Well personally I would say that if you are someone who you know receives a lot of documents you know you just want to watch or read more content on a larger display without having to carry a separate tablet for that I think this is the perfect device for you. Now I tested it out doing a couple of things and the first one I want to share with you is in terms of reading documents. These days you know I work with a lot of clients so normally you know they're always sending me all kinds of PowerPoint files, uh, Word documents and I think you know even reading it on a 6.5 inch display which is something quite typical of most smartphones today uh, is very different from actually reading it on a larger 7.8 inch you know display to actually be able to see the full content very easily. So PowerPoint files works perfectly fine here of course it is also very smooth to scroll through the display because it has that 120 hertz refresh rate everything is battery smooth just reading it on a display and you know documents also feel so much easier to read on this XS2. Now apart from that you know if you are browsing the internet a lot if you do a lot of you know Google Chrome uh, internet browsing or whatever you know you can actually again view a lot more content even more easier on a larger display. Now I'm going to show you very quickly like you know for instance if you're just reading it on a 6.5 inch display it's not to say small or anything like that but the entire experience is actually elevated or you know made even better when you have that larger display which you can just you know get with a pop of the button. So that's that uh, last but not least in terms of gaming how does it feel like to actually game on something like this? Well I would say that uh, at the moment 
moment, a lot of games are not really optimized to actually leverage on a larger display. But I did play PUBG as well as Mobile Legends. I'm going to start with Mobile Legends first because I play that game a lot. I noticed that I was still able to play Mobile Legends on the Mid XS2. It was a larger display indeed. I think it is somewhat cropped to, you know, to some parts which I can't really see on the map. But in, at the end of the day, I was still able to enjoy my experience playing you know, this Mobile Legends game. Everything was very smooth. Uh, in terms of PUBG, uh, for instance, I'm not sure uh, how much of the map is actually being cropped. Again, usually you're you know, used to seeing a very long aspect ratio, but this time it's a square-ish kind of aspect ratio. So uh, naturally, uh, you know, playing it on, the, on a slightly larger screen is great, but you might not be able to see some enemies which you know, is hiding on the map that has already been cropped up. Uh, otherwise, I think that uh, gaming is still very, very possible on the Huawei Mate XS2. Uh, regardless, having said that, you know, uh, I think this device is really for those who really appreciate, you know, reading or, you know, scrolling through content on a larger display. It doesn't matter if you're just looking through documents. It doesn't matter if you're just browsing the internet or maybe even Facebook or Instagram and all that. I think, you know, this display is really for those kind of people. If you are a gamer and you really emphasize a lot of your gaming and you can't, you know, stand that kind of aspect ratio on this, you know, squarish kind of display. Well, all you need to do is just uh, fold it back close and then you have your typical aspect ratio back again. So not really a huge problem there. Now, apart from that, that's just in terms of using the de device itself. What else do we have here? Well, in terms of the processor, we do have a Snapdragon 888. Uh, it only supports 4G at the moment because, you know, 5G is still not accessible by, you know, Huawei. So yeah, that's that. Uh, in terms of the RAM, uh, my device here comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM coupled with 256 GB of internal memory. I think there is a higher spec version that might provide 12 gigabytes of RAM and 512 GB of internal memory. But again, you should be able to see that, you know, the actual details, you know, in the links below. Um, apart from that, in terms of the cameras, we do have that triple camera, like I mentioned earlier on. Now, this is being led by a 50 megapixel main sensor. You also have a 13 megapixel ultra wide. And last but not least, you have an 8 megapixel telephoto lens that does three times optical zoom and it comes with OIS. Now, if you were paying attention, you will notice that all three sensors are very useful here. You do not have a macro lens, you do not have a depth sensor. So that's great. Now, in terms of image quality, I'm going to throw you a couple of samples right now. Uh, they're not, you know, as great as the P50 Pro in some instances because, you know, that was in collaboration with Leica. But you still have quite a fair bit of detail, very good colors coming from the Huawei Mate XS2. So again, I'm going to be showing you a couple of photos here. I did not really test out extensively the cameras. But yeah, this is just a couple of pictures here for your kind of reference. Now, apart from that, in terms of your battery, you do have a 4880 mAh battery on board. And this is supported by a 66 watt fast charge. Uh, again, I do not have the official, you know, charging times from zero to 100%. And I don't have the charger with me as well. I only have the device. So uh, you can expect some pretty decent charging speeds here on the Huawei Mate XS2, just like on previous Huawei devices. Not really too concerned with that. Uh, last but not least, what else do we have here? Oh, in terms of the display, I should throw you some numbers as well since we are talking about specifications. Well, again, to repeat, if you close the device itself, this is a 6.5 inch you know, OLED display. If you extend the device, it is a 7.8 inch you know, OLED display. Of course, in terms of the resolution, I'm going to put it on your screens right now. It supports that 120 hertz refresh rate. Uh, other than that, it supports 1 billion colors DCI-P3. And yeah, overall, that's what you can get in terms of the display. Very nice contrast levels, very, very sharp. You do get more than 400 in terms of pixel density. So everything is going to be crystal clear on the Huawei Mate XS2. All right, guys, I think that's it for my very quick first impressions with the uh, Huawei Mate XS2. Uh, again, if you have more questions, don't forget to leave them down below. I really want to know what you think about this foldable. Is this something that you might actually consider? Uh, me personally, I think my first impressions has been quite positive. Again, I really appreciate that normal form factor on this 6.5 inch display. And we do not have to you know, open the phone you know, like from folding a book, but rather like this to actually, you know, assess a larger display. So only one display here, which is great. Uh, but yeah, this is what you can expect in terms of the Mate XS2. This is the first impressions. Again, thank you guys for staying all the way till the end. I hope you liked today's video. Don't forget to drop a like and sub to the channel. If you want to see more content like this, I cover all the latest tech here in Malaysia and signing off. Stay safe, everybody. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.